David, positive result for the boys this afternoon onto the semi-final now of the Glasgow Cup. Give your overall thoughts on the boys' performance. Yeah, well, first of all, if we go to the objective at the start of the, the, the campaign, we wanted to top the group. Um, we certainly a couple of different targets in there and they've achieved every one of them, so we're delighted for the boys that have done that. In today's game itself, it was a, listen, it was a difficult game. Uh, the wind doesn't make it particularly easy either. And I thought in the first half, we probably turned the ball over more than we'd like to. We probably tried to attack every time we had possession of the ball, which I know that looks good if you get the goal at the end of it, but I think there's, it, it makes it quite frantic. It makes it quite transitional, and that's something that we spoke about at half-time. We want to spend a bit more time in possession of the ball and not rush to get towards their box. We can, we'll find spaces when it opens up, just control the game a little bit longer. Um, I thought we were a bit better in the second half, and obviously we managed to get the two goals as well. The boys in the first half did work their well way into the into the uh, final third, but unlucky to see the back of the net. How important was it for them not to become frustrated in that instance? Yeah, well, listen, we were against a strong wind in the first half, so we probably didn't create as often as we would like, but we knew we'd get some chances. Um, we were just a little bit unfortunate, one or two, we never quite got um, got maybe the goal at the end of what was decent play at that time. Uh, I think it's also it's important to say that Jay Hogarth is has had a couple of huge moments there. He's certainly one good save and he's had two, two from the penalty, which um, are huge for us because it's right on half time and that could change the flow of the second half or the start of the second half anyway in terms of Queen's Park being one nothing up. So excellent for him. Um, but see, the first half, I, I think we had moments of real good bits of play, then moments of just decision making and the last thing we did with the ball. But I think we knew, we started well in terms of energy, which is one of the first things we asked them to do. We started well in terms of trying to press them. Um, but we just needed to try and find a bit of calmness through the chaos and I think the second half was much, much better at that. You mentioned it there defensively with Jay Hogarth and a few great backline interceptions as well. How important was it for the boys to keep a clean sheet in this round of the Cup? Yeah, well, we'd set the target of getting two clean sheets in the, in the four games. Uh, we've achieved three, so that shows you defensively. Obviously, well, we can talk a little bit the goalkeeper in the, in the back line, but we always say that's a, it's a defensive, it's it kind of across the whole unit, the whole team. Um, so we're pleased about that. Um, set a target of achieving X amount of goals within that, which will keep in house. Um, so we we're pleased about that as well. Goals against call, we're pleased. We've, we've, done a, we've set a lot of targets the guys have managed to achieve, so we're, we're delighted with that. Um, but I know Graham Smith and uh, the back line, the goalkeepers will be particularly pleased at the fact that we've, we've done really well defensively so far. We're now at the semi-finals, as you've touched on there, so we now have to reset our focus and, and take on to an individual game basis now. Tony coming on the second half, netting two goals. Does that just go to show what a key player he is for the squad? I think his goals this season tell you that he's, he's just like, finds his way of, of um, sniffing opportunities, being in the right place at the right time. I think both come off the back of second phase, which are great goals to have because it's brilliant to go get the, the ones that are well worked and um, I'll be, I have to say the first goal is a well worked opportunity, um, but it ricochets and lands at Tony's feet and scores. Um, it's nice to get the ones that just being really reactive and, and, and anticipating. That's a big part of what Tony does in and around that penalty box, so delighted for him. And as you said, on to the semi-final now, how much are you and the rest of the boys looking forward to that game? Yeah, look, really looking forward to it. Um, as I say, the, the, the tournament is important. We want to go and do well. It was one at the start of the season when you look at what you're going to be competing in. Uh, you believe that you can go and do well in it. Obviously, what we don't know is when you go against opposition within the, the, the tournament, what Clyde, Queen's Park, Partick Thistle will put against ourselves in Celtic. So, um, in each of the occasions, been really reasonably strong teams came against us and we've performed well. So, I think now it's a case of going to an individual game and uh, setting the target up and getting to the final.